greetings, and for crying out loud, let's talk about alcohol. And why would I say for crying out loud when I'm supposed to talk about children impacted by alcohol? Because they cry a lot. There is something disharmonious about how they feel about themselves, how they feel about their environment. And of course, all children cry a lot, but alcohol exposed children do more so. And of course, just like other children, crying is replaced as they grow older by other behaviors, and in the case of alcohol exposures, by other signs of distemper, of disharmonious development of their character. It may go as far as behaviors that can be considered antisocial and even criminal. So yes, they are disconsolate. They cry and cry and nothing seems to please them. The parents become exhausted. They don't sleep well. But in addition, they have similar faces. And if you remember these factors, you will remember more than 40% of the whole spectrum of manifestations of how alcohol damages the development of a baby. So, remember, neurobehavioral alterations is the number one area that is disturbed by prenatal impacts of alcohol. And there is more, I said face or faces. So there are three elements or three subsets if you like. One is growth, the other one is unusual appearance or morphogenesis, and a smaller head that is microcephaly. But we should not forget that alcohol also is a cause of death, is a cause of early elimination of embryos. It may be manifested by reduced fertility, recurrent abortions, early fetal demise, the phases we already mentioned, and many other distortions of morphogenesis, in particular the heart. We can see signs on the ears and digits because they are exposed and easy to note. So regarding growth, it is a progressive sign so that the stature of these babies, they're becoming obviously too short as they grow older, even more so in terms of weight, they have very limited subcutaneous fat, they are skinny, and the head circumference falls off in particular com comparing to the other two. So remember, the impacts are manifested by some signs that are progressive, but there are others that may be regressive. They may disappear. Scrawny little crying children, irritable, fussy. This is the mantra. The impacts of alcohol are similar to those of radiation as far growth is concerned. Intrauterine growth retardation, growth deficit of the brain, two major areas of manifestation. So yes, this is a short presentation of a webinar that is much longer. This second webinar is concerned with semiology or the signs of recognizing signs that if we are intelligent, that is educated and experienced, we may then interpret the signs as signals then we can synthesize a series of signals into one package in common that we may call syndrome or diagnosis. So fetal alcohol syndrome. But if it's not very typical, we could call it the spectrum. Spectrum meaning looser associations of these signs one with the other. Now, the webinar is very important in that it includes three clinical videos where the viewer can pretend to be a clinician confronted with parents and child concerning the question, is this or is this not a consequence of alcohol? And there are two supplements of world class 
by Dr. Jones, who is a pioneer on the subject, the first supplement he speaks on the diagnosis of the fetal alcohol syndrome, and in the second, how to conduct a clinical examination to determine the signs, interpret them as signals, synthesize them as syndromes, and then venture a diagnosis. This webinar, as many others, is intensive in images. In books, you will find much more in terms of the nosology or what's known about the disorder. So a quick overview of the images in this, in this particular webinar follows. And I will be silent. This is the end of this short presentation. I invite you to view the full versions and please start with the first webinar. It will help you to understand the second better. <coughs> I also hope you will like these webinars and continue viewing the prospective ones. The one to follow will be concerned with pathogenesis. For crying out loud, don't stay in the dark. Become illuminated. Please register to the Clinical Eye Opener site. And I remind you that registered members have access to other webinars, as well as a variety of contents, in particular masterclasses. <coughs> have a good day.